Howdy, y'all. Mr. Cod here coming to you from the beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about how to divide polynomials. And in this lesson, you're going to learn how to divide by a monomial, how to divide by a binomial, and how to divide using long division. And that just sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? You'll need to know how to factor. You'll need to know how uh, what polynomials are, and you'll need to know your long division. Polynomials, algebraic expression with one or more terms, such as a monomial, or a binomial, or a trinomial, and anything more than three we just call polynomials. Dividing by a monomial, there's our problem. And the first thing we want to do when we're dividing by a monomial, just divide each term by the divisor. 12x to the 12th power divided by 4x to the 4th power. All we have to do is subtract the exponents, and that'll give us 3x to the 8th power. Then take 8x to the 8th power, divide by 4x to the 4th power, and that gives us negative 2x to the 4th power. And then finally, we get uh, x squared. Now let's go ahead and divide by a binomial. And it's a little different this time. When dividing by a bon binomial, we want to go ahead and use long division. So let's set it up. There's the problem. And then let's ask ourselves, what times x is 3x cubed? Well, when I think about that, I'm going to need to multiply x by 3x squared. And of course, that's going to give me 3x cubed. And then I'm going to take 3x squared, multiply it by 2, and I get 6x squared. Now, I need to subtract. And a great way to do that is just to remember, change the signs and add. That's basically algebraic subtraction. Change the signs and add. They cancel out. And 11 minus 6 is 5, so 5x squared. Bring down the 9x minus 5 and continue. Again, ask myself the question, what times x is 5x squared? Well, that would be 5x. So 5x times x is 5x squared. And 5x times 2 is 10x. Change the signs and add. And those cancel out. And negative x, bring down the minus 5. And we're ready for the next question. What times x is negative x? Well, that would be negative 1. And so negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And of course, we want to do what? Change the signs and add. And those cancel out. And that gives us a remainder of negative 3. And we want to remember to write the remainder as a fraction. We're big boys and girls now, so don't write r negative 3. You write it as a fraction. And that would be negative 3 over x plus 2. You always put the remainder over the divisor. All right? Recap. You divided by a monomial, you divided by a binomial, and you did some algebraic long division. All right, as always, if you have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com.